Hi there, this is Mecha Supreme here with another Transformers toy review and another Robot Masters um, toy that I picked up. Uh, this one is called Bound Rogue. Uh, he's an Autobot, he's seventh in the series. And, and with this one, uh, he's um, a Beast Wars uh, character that's been uh, repainted and, and done up and just given kind of an additional weapon, the silver weapon that you that you uh, see here that he's got, so that's a, an extra thing that he's got. So he's a repaint of Snarl or um, the Japanese one which is called uh, Tasmanian Kid um, which is basically like um, a Tasmanian Devil. Um, so the original one was kind of a, a dark brown colour, the, both the Hasbro and the Takara version, although they were called different things, they're actually the same mould, same colour and everything else like that. Um, some of the uh, Beast Wars toys were slightly different and they had slightly different names and yeah, even though the same mould but different colours um, but, but uh, those two are the same now uh, I'll show you his box quickly oh, so I'll just move the toy out of the way quickly so you can see this one's uh, an Autobot here 7th and series uh, Bound Rogue that there he is in his uh, Beast Mode here and you've got a couple of pictures the top there is it's different modes. You turn around again, you've got them in uh, both modes, and you've got this text specs on the side here. Oh, yeah, and these are just on the side here. So you've got like a, on all of them, you've got like a silhouette with them in a robot mode, and just gives their stats. He's got a rank 5, power 7, defense 6, stamina 9, and speed of 10. And then, um, it comes with the same poster that the other one came with and he comes with his own little uh, backing card here which has got some nice artwork here of him in robot mode holding his gun which he doesn't really hold that well but which I'll show you uh, in a minute uh, so yeah he comes with instructions and that little poster which I showed you so here he is yeah like I said he's a, a direct repaint um, so same size and everything as a, a normal Beast Wars basic figure. Um, he's got an Autobot symbol here rather than um, a, you know a maximal rub sign. His head does the sculpt actually does look the same. Um, it is on the ball joint, but you do haven't got a great range of movement. You can kind of move it up and down a little bit. Obviously, you can move it from side to side, but it, it's pretty decent. Uh, got some nice nice color in there. And uh, with his his weapon, so he's got one weapon here, which you can peg. You can peg it on either side, but it pegs it on here. But because of his arms, he's kind of got like he's got quite long arms, so you have to peg it in here. He doesn't actually hold anything because of his the, the hands that he has in beast mode. And this is his gun, and you can see how he has to hold it. You have to peg it in here, and because of the shape of his his hand the way it's done you have to bend this bit forward to enable for him to hold the gun which obviously he didn't he didn't originally have this one but it's you know it's not a nice addition even though it doesn't look that that great on him so if I just pop that off here you see that's how he holds it so you've got lots of articulation in his arm here because it's on the ball joint here and you've got another one here and another one in his hand here as well legs same situation really you've got all of that uh, here the thing with this legs i find you've got to put them at an angle rather than uh, all the way back like that otherwise he doesn't kind of stand up properly so you have to kind of have it in, as a bit of an angle here for him to stand up properly otherwise he just falls over and you see um in here he's actually got quite a lot of uh, detail in here and then in here it looks like he's got his like Rib cage and bits and pieces, which I'm not sure if I noticed that on on the original or not. It may well have been there. I just didn't notice it. And there you go. And this bit, which is his um, his mouth in in beast mode, kind of fits in here nicely on his chest, which is a nice detail on here. Um, this isn't like a, one of the ones which you do in one one motion, so it's not one of the spring loaded ones. With it, you'll have to 
bring his legs out here like that and keep it as that and then from what I remember you bring his arms forward like that as if he's got them up in the air and then his legs are going to come round here and they're going to slot in here so you'll have to bend it round back here so they're going to end up above his head this bit's going to tuck in this heel bit here so you can do that first if you want just tuck that in here bring his legs all the way around here you want to bring this forward like that let's get this you have to make sure his, his head I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck plug his head together first and then bring the bring this forward so yeah, I'll just tab in like that and then start to bring these down I'm going to plug everything together and then bring his mouth forward I'm not sure if it I can't remember if it goes over or underneath it Ah, I see what I haven't done. In here, there's a little peg, and you've got to bring that in and just peg it in here. So you need to do that on both sides, just peg it in underneath like that. And then you'll find when you then plug its head together like that but I said he was nice and easy to transform and now I'm making a right hash up of it perhaps I should have brought his mouth forward first should I try that let's try that yeah that's the best thing to do so we got there in the end even though I made a, a balls up of it um, so bring these arm bits forward like that and then you just close this bit up here like that so you can see you've got his mouth here you can open this up even though you can see his his uh his head in there he's got some pretty sharp teeth in there you can close that all up and then at the back here You've got this, which is its tail, and all you want to do is plug that in there, like that. And to get that out, I just press this at the bottom here. Do that. Yeah, so there he is in beast mode. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely gonna put this alongside all, all my other Beast Wars toys. Uh, definitely gonna keep these the two Beast Wars ones out of the Robot Masters. Not too sure about the um, the other ones at the moment. I'm gonna kind of open them all up, uh, see what I think about them all. Um, but yeah, I'm impressed with them so far. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, the next one I'm gonna open up is a Decepticon called uh, Wingstan, which looks like he's a repaint of a G2 jet, which was also I don't know. He's one of the ones from Beast Wars Returns. One of the on the jets from that, I can't remember what it's called. I think he's it might have been Dirge or something like that. But uh, yeah, this has been uh, Bound Rogue. Let me know what you think. Apologies about the transformation. Uh, I hope you got that. If not, I can always do a, another video um, with a bit of an update. Okay, cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye.